Hey guys, this is Gavin Bays, and this is my TQA groundwork video for a bay filly I'm starting through the TQA program. TQA, otherwise known as Training Quality Assurance, is a nonprofit organization focused on working with experts in the equine and ranching industry to set industry quality standards and certifications in training and selling horses to the public. The TQA program uses score sheets to track the progress of each horse throughout their training time. Each horse is scored in task completion, foundation, and temperament. For each task and temperament division, we score between a negative and a positive 3, where negative 3 represents an unwilling horse or being unable to complete the task, and a positive 3 represents a willing horse who is able to complete each task. The first task we score on is how good the horse was to catch. This horse was a good to catch, and I would so score then, her positive do it like the because she stood very well. starting way, so you wrap the rope around her neck first. See? <laughs> Next we score on stage one in a crisis. Stage one is when we ask our horses to stop their inside front feet and move their other feet forward around it. I scored her a three on this task. After these two tasks, we focus on horizontal direction. There are eight signs that show us if our horses have horizontal direction. The first four are by the pole. We look to see if the horse is breaking in the pole horizontally, as his nose beneath his eyes, his ears should stay flat and his head should not tilt, and you should not see any white in his eyes. The last four are of the loin. Again, we look to see if the horse's front and hind feet are traveling the same path as his nose, if his outside hind steps out and his inside hind steps up under his navel, if the pole and the loin make a C shape around the flag or the rider's leg, and being able to ride a perfect circle. If the horse has all eight of these things, we know they have horizontal direction. I would score this horse a one because she had pretty good horizontal direction, but she had a lot of hesitation. After that, we test their stage one and the stage two. Stage two is when a horse's hindquarters pull them in a reverse motion. I would score this horse a negative one because she is not very good at this task. After stage 2, we ask for stage 1 again and then for stage 3. Stage 3 is the lateral movement of the front and hind feet together. Today, I would have scored her a 1 because she was very willing at this task. The final stage we teach our horses is stage 4. Stage 4 is when we ask our horses to stop their inside hind leg and move the rest of their feet forward around it. I would score her a 2 because she doesn't do it quite perfectly. Our next task is leading with willing submission. The definition of willing submission is after initial cue, the horse performs the task on a loose rein with no leg pressure. I would have scored this horse a positive 3 because she stays out of my space and stops when I stop. Our final task in the groundwork phase is picking up their feet. This horse is awesome about her feet, so I would score her a 2. We also score our horses on their temperament. Looking back at the score sheets, you can see that we score them on their level of self-preservation, their confidence, their energy, how willing they are, their reaction to social separation, and how sensitive they are to pressure. For self-preservation, I would score this horse a negative one. 
For confidence, I would score her a zero. For energy, I would score her this horse a three. For willingness, I would score this horse a zero. For reaction to social separation, I would score her a negative one. Finally, for sensitivity, I would score her a two. That is the entire TQA groundwork process we have been working through the last few weeks. Thank you for watching.